In lesson two of module two, we're gonna continue our work with clocks and really developing a good understanding of how to read a clock um, so that we can go ahead in the next few lessons and start to solve word problems that involve time. Um, part of that process is really making sure we understand um, not only the, the concept of time, but how to read time from, a, from an analog clock, um, which is an important skill, obviously, for the math we're doing, but it's also an important life skill to have too, like I've mentioned to you in, in lesson one. So um, that's sort of the focus today. And uh, we're gonna introduce a, a number line as a tool to help us because that's something that's going to continue on here in the next few lessons and uh, we talked about it in class in lesson one and i just want to reiterate here uh, why it's important to think of a clock as a number line or why it's important to be able to think of a clock as a number line if that helps you so let's take a look at our our model clock here and uh, like i told you in class basically we can take this or i could take this and cut it and then flatten it out and take away the curve, this clock could turn into a number line. Like if I split it right here at the top, I was able to cut it and then smooth the plastic out, this would be one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. That would be one hour and I could flatten it right out on a table and make a number line. So each hour is just like a number line that goes from zero to 60 or from five o'clock to six o'clock or three o'clock to four o'clock. Uh, and we can think of that uh, because you guys have a lot of experience using number lines. So as we get into solving word problems with time, uh, it's helpful to give you a strategy that's familiar to you, something that you've done before and you've used number lines to solve problems before um, in, in first and second grade. So um, we wanna reintroduce that strategy even though we're, we're building on it and we're doing something a little bit new with it. Um, it's helpful to have, have that strategy that you are familiar with uh, moving forward here. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and start a couple of practice problems. I'm just going to revisit briefly what was sort of on your uh, problem set today. And uh, there's two basic ways that we were introduced to number line uh, with time today. And again, these are things we're going to build on here in the next few lessons. So for today, all we did was had a number line. That's not a very straight number line. There we go. And we're going to make it go. Um, I'll show that it can go from you know zero to sixty, but I'll also show that, that this one's going to go from like seven o'clock to eight o'clock. So this is like seven and zero minutes, and this is like you know eight o'clock. Um, this would be like seven and fifty-nine minutes right there. And we're going to split this into just like on our clock has. 12 numbers has 12 groups of five. Our number line is also going to have 12 groups of five. And let's draw those in here now. We got uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. My pen's really not cooperating with me today. This is like the third time I've tried to record this video and each time the pen keeps really messing up. All right, so there's our number line that goes from seven o'clock to eight o'clock showing us one hour, You know, as we can see here, 60 full minutes. It's divided into groups of five. There are 12 of them, just like there are on the time clock that we've been talking about. And uh, between zero and five, I'll draw in the, the ones so you can see that there are, uh, in fact, ones in there. So this would be like 701, 702, 703, 704, and then this would be 705 right there, where the five is 706, 707, 708, 709, and seven. 10. And then that could go on and on and on the rest of the way. And the first way you're going to work with this number line today is simply following directions. Uh, those directions are going to say things like put a dot and label it A, uh, where it says 735. So you'd find 735, put a dot, and label it with an A. And then you might be asked to do something like find uh, 715 and label it with B. So you'd find 7, 5, 10, 15 and label it with 
a B. 755, label with a C. So again, seven, and then we go all the way up to 55 with a C. And uh, I don't know, one more like 720 would be D. So we go seven, five, 10, 15, 20. And that would be labeled to D. And if you're finding that on a clock, I'll, I'll show you up here. You'd have seven o'clock. Um, I'll we'll get the hour to the right hand. And you'd go seven, five, 10, 15, 20. You count four groups of five, just like I did on my number line here. And that's sort of the front sheet of your problem set. Um, and I, I believe your homework as well. Um, and that's one way to use a number line, um, at least in this first introductory sort of lesson where we're learning about turning a clock into and thinking about it as a number line. Um, and the other way we can do it is to have, uh, here I'll draw, I'll do it on a different page, but we can match clocks, whether they're digital or analog to uh, a number line and find those times. So the first one is just gonna tell you what time it is and you, you mark it. And the second one is gonna ask you to sort of draw lines between uh, clocks and the number line. So again, we have our number line here that represents one hour. So we have a total hour is 60 minutes. At the start, we've had zero minutes. We'll call this one five o'clock and six o'clock. Again, our number line, number line is gonna span one hour here. Five, 10, 15. Again, we have 12 groups of five, just like there are on a clock. 15 and 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I know it's not the most thrilling thing to see me like count by fives here, but I want to reiterate um, the purpose of the lesson here. And that is connecting those numbers on the face of a clock um, to the numbers on the number line here. And that like a one on the clock is five minutes, a two on the clock is 10 minutes, a three on the clock is 15 minutes. So again, we're group counting by fives uh, on, our, on our number line and on our clock. So you might have uh, something that says, um, you might have a digital time that says like find five, 10. No, that'll probably be in like a box or something. And then you'll have a clock. This is gonna really test my artistic abilities here, guys. That might say something like, I'm not gonna draw all the numbers in, but like uh, five, 30. Yeah, trust me that that's five five thirty there. Um, you might have another one that says, let's see, five fifty five, and then you might have a final one that says five forty, and then you're going to be asked to draw lines to the correct spots on here, right? So. Um, I'll do it in a different color for you, but basically you're gonna do this. You're gonna take 510 and you're gonna find that on the, on the number line here and that's right there. You're gonna find 530 and that's right there. 555 is all the way over here and 540 is back here. So that's sort of the other way that you're going to uh, use a number line here. Uh, again, it's a real good visual representation. Uh, you have an hour broken out and, and flattened out into a number line, and then you're just finding points on it. So it's, again, familiarizing yourself with the fact that you can think of one hour as a number line that goes from zero to 60. And that's really the basic point um, today. And that, um, that number line, just like a clock, has 12 groups of five minute intervals. And um, again, matching some clocks and some written directions up with um, spots on that number line, just like you would on a clock um, when you're trying to find a time on the clock. So that's really the, the point of lesson two. And from there, we're gonna start to build on into um, some word problems here. Um, by, by lesson four, we'll really be into solving word problems. So um, lesson three is gonna work a little bit more on some of the introductory skills. And then by lesson four, we're really gonna start um, solving some, some word problems uh, with these uh, strategies that we've been learning. So uh, 
uh, as always, ask questions if you have them. Um, I know that uh, for some of you, working with the clock is something new and something challenging. So if you have questions about uh, how to read the clock appropriately and properly, uh, feel free to ask and I'm happy to help with that.